Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Tarot Land. This is your girl, Zengaya, the Zen Libra, and I'm here with you to work that magic today, ladies. I'm here with you to decode some spells. The word today that we're going to break down is Pharaoh. Now, the Pharaoh was an Egyptian king under the New Kingdom, which started in an 18th dynasty. Okay? Isis and Osiris had Horus. Some people say that Isis and Osiris was brother and sister. Some say that they were married. But Isis and Osiris were actually twin flames. Okay? They were twin flames that got together and had Horus. Horus was the divine child that was born from the twin flame union. That's why the twin flame union is so tumultuous. Because you have so many people and entities and demonic energies that are trying to keep the twins apart. Because they know the twins are going to have the divine child. The Horus. The words Horus. Heru and Hero are the same words. The S was put a lot on pe- on the on the name of people because they worshipped Sin, the moon god. So they would put S's on the end of their names in, in honor of Sin, the moon god. When they tell you you were born into Sin, you were. You were born into the culture where everything revolved around the moon, the three cycles of the moon. Okay? So Haru... Heru and Hero are the same words. Okay? Hero was the protector of the royalty of Egypt. Hero was someone of nobility, someone courageous, someone who did outstanding achievements, had outstanding achievements. So, we're going to leave the P off. And we're dealing with H-A-R-A-O. That is the same word as hero. Remember, the vowels are interchangeable. Our language was spoke consonants. Vowels were infiltrated into our language because the outsider couldn't speak our language. So they had to pronounce them with their tongue, with vowels. So they they will try to mess you up by putting double consonants in there, putting double uh, vowels in there. But when you can decipher, when you learn how to use your magic, you can look in between it all. You can not only understand, but you understand and overstand. So you have to strengthen your third eye. And use your third eye to see through the fog, to pierce through the fog. Okay? So, we dropped the H because a lot of um, words back then would end in A-H or O-H. Because that's the way they had to pronounce it. They had to put that H on there. You know, because the way they speak. But it can be dropped. So, if the H is dropped, you have Pharaoh without the H. H-A-R-A-O is the same word as Horus, Heru, and Hero. They're the same words. So you got a hero here. But what about that P's in Libra? I'm going to tell you about it. That P stands for phosphorus. Now phosphorus is an element. On the periodical table. Phosphorus glows in the dark. It poisons. It's poisonous. And it's combustible. Okay. The number to phosphorus on the periodical table is 15. The spiritual meaning of the number one means new cycle, new beginning, or leader. The spiritual meaning of the number five means change. It also means obstacles and low vibe and energy like jealous, envy, uh, drama. You know, that's what the number five basically, you know, means also. But it means change. So you have phosphorus. Glows in the dark. It poisons and it's combustible. 
15 on the periodical table. The one means new leader and the five means change. So a new cycle began and you had a new leader. The leaders changed. Okay. The leaders changed and you had a new cycle. Okay. Okay. Now, this new kingdom did not start till the 18th dynasty, okay? So the 17th on back, they were not called pharaohs with a P. They were called Heru, hero. Okay? But the name changed starting the new kingdom in the 18th dynasty. Okay. So, we got P. So you have a phosphorus hero. What is a phosphorus hero that took control starting the 18th dynasty? A phosphorus hero is someone that glows in the dark. You ever heard of the shining one? Someone that poisons, someone that is combustible, someone that is very explosive. Okay? That's what you have. So it changed from the Heru, the hero, to the phosphorus hero that glows in the dark, that poisons, that's very explosive and combustible. The new cycle changed. And they got a new leader starting in the 18th dynasty. Okay? So these are the these are the beings that started to lead 18 dynasty on. They were shiny, silver toned skin. These were not human. Okay? These were not human. Okay? Feel me now, y'all. You got something that glows in the dark. The shiny one. Okay? Now, phosphorus. If you look up the synonyms for phosphorus, this is what you will get. Phosphorus means the same as the morning star, Lucifer, and day star. Marinate on it, y'all. Okay? So the pharaohs of the new kingdom that started to 18th dynasty. were phosphorus beings. It was Lucifer, the day star, the morning star that took over in Egypt beginning the 18th dynasty. Before the 18th dynasty, the divine children the divine people of royalty, the divine lineage ruled Egypt until it was taken over by the morning star, Lucifer, day star. This is the meaning of Pharaoh. This is where the lineage of Lucifer, of the morning star, of the day star. This is when the lineage of Lucifer took over and started to rule the new kingdom, the 18th dynasty. So does Pharaoh look different to you now? They weren't human people. Use your magic, ladies, to code the spells. I love you all. Until my next video, dodge the hijack and know thyself, ladies. Peace out.